This is just fantastic, but at only one point. You can actually buy the Gaimon Fierce tennis racket on the Decathlon store. Yes, his racket. Not the type I have here, but you can actually buy his racket he played or he used. And the racket probably uh, got a little bit, uh, I would not say damaged, but used. So the Artengo decided to sell the racket on the Catalan store for a crazy little money. The problem is that it's not available, obviously, it is sold out. But anyway, let's take a look at the Decathlon store, at the page where you can buy the record and we can see all the very interesting info. So guys, stay tuned for more. Hello tennis guys and welcome to my channel. So this video is dedicated to Gaimon Fields and his racket of choice, which you can actually buy on the Decathlon store. We all know that it's not his racket what you can buy. Usually it's this one. And I can see that the, the, the let's say the original, the first one I bought last year is here. It has the glossy finish. And the second one I received directly from the Decathlon store and from the Artengo France is there and the finish is a little bit different. So it's matte and this, the first one is glossy. Obviously the glossy version looks a lot better, but, 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 but let's go back to the topic that you can actually buy the Galmon Fields original record on the Decathlon store and how I got this info. It's easy. So I was browsing the Decathlon store of the Czech Republic, the Decathlon.cz, and I was looking for the, let's see, regular, the people's racket, the, the, the racket I have here, you can buy the 305 gram racket. So I browsed the racket like that. So TR960 in the search uh, column. 16 by 19 because this is the version I have okay and I will do it without the 16 by 19 I just do the TR 960 okay and there I have bunch of the records I have here the original 16 by 19 control tour the 18 by 20 and then there is the, the not the heavy, heaviest one, is the lower one. And where is the, where is the record you can actually buy the Gamma Fees? It's here. Okay, I finally found it, guys. So if you look at the record I have, so the record for the public, it costs 2,800 crowns, which is... I will I will go for the dollar, which is like 2,080. A dollar is like 23 crowns. So it's like 
120 American dollars or let's say 115 euros or 110 euros. Uh, let's go to the original Gaimon Fields record. It's 849 crown. Check, check crown, check Karuna. So 849 is about, it's 36 US dollars. And there is written in Czech, and I will, I will translate it into English. Tennis racket for experienced players who, who are searching for good control. This racket has been developed uh, in cooperation with Gammon Fields. It's, it's sold without strings. And then there is the most important info. Uh, let's say enjoy the record of the champion. Uh, the Artengo TR960 control tour, which was used by Gaimon Fields. Give these products second life. Yes, there it is. And there is the next, there is the technical info when you, when you scroll down. And once again, this is in check. Okay, so... This record, there's the info, this record has been used several hours by Gaimon Fields and it is in a good condition. Record has been checked and repaired. Okay, guys. And then there is the super important info. The weight without strings. 349 gram unstrung. So this is the racket that Gamma Fears is using or has used. 349 gram unstrung. That's insane, guys. So there is once again another info. Gamma Fears. Uh, also, as, as other professional players, is able to play with very heavy racket because he has enough power this uh translates into a very good stability of the racket uh, uh no matter the impact let's say no matter the 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 the, the, the power of from the ball we can go even further there is balance of the racket 306 millimeters Okay, it's well balanced into the hand. So a lot, lot, lot hand heavier racket than the original. So, or the, 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 the racket for the, for the public I have here. So the racket for the public is 305 gram unstrung and the balance is 315 millimeters. This one is 306 millimeters. So it is quite similar to the Rogers Federer Pro Staff, the RF97. And there is another info. The racket has a very long grip uh, to be well maneuverable despite the, the high weight. So it is probably customized also for Galmon Field. So the handle is longer. So the balance is shifted more into the hand. Then there is the head size. It's six. 130 square uh, centimeters, of course. Then I will jump to the to the string pattern, which is 18 by 20, obviously. And now the shocking, quite shocking, shocking info about the swing weight. The unstrung swing weight for this original, and this is an uh, this is an. Uh, uh, fascinating info you you can't really get anywhere else so or i don't know about any let's say uh, influencer or uh youtuber who really knows the spec the real specs of the of the gamon fields record and now we have it in front of our eyes by artengo in the decathlon store it's crazy so the swing weight without without strings is astonishing 328 without strings 
Let me remind you that this one, the record you can buy on the Catalan store, easily because it's for public, has swing weight, unstrung, 285. So this is 328. And let me remind you that when you put string into the racket, the swing weight usually is increased by 30, around 30 points. So if you add 30 points to this number, you get 358. 358. That's a very, very high swing weight. I would say it's, it's unplayable for a uh, most advanced players. I'm not talking about intermediate because this record will literally kill your arm. Now there is the interesting info about the length. So it's a longer record, 694 millimeters. Uh, usual length is 685 millimeters. So this record is about nine millimeters longer. Uh, almost one centimeter longer so that's why also the swing weight is so high now the beam is constant 22 millimeters is the same like with this racket I have here you can buy easily and uh, now there is uh, info about the grip and I'm I'm shocked I'm really shocked because there is this crazy number let's zoom into it so the grip size should be Grip size number six with a letter grip. Grip size number six. Uh, that's like when when players were using the the, the, the wooden rackets. It's like a 50 year old or 40 year old setup. So this grip is huge. And I don't know how it is possible that Gaemon Fields can even hold the racket tight enough. Because the grip number 6 is uh, humongous. It's crazy. So I suppose that Gaemon Fields has very long fingers. He is a tall guy. He is a slim guy. So, it, so slim guys have usually longer fingers. They can go around the grip much easier than someone who has, let's say, fat fingers. Because when you have fat fingers, there is enough of the fat or the muscle that, uh, that, that uh, kind of uh, stuffs, stuffs the spaces, that fills the spaces around the, around the grip. And, and it, it actually makes even a, a smaller grip uh, kind of big because uh, your hand your fat fingers, your big fingers kind of make the grip feel like it's even bigger in reality. So uh, grip number uh, number six is, is huge. Usually nowadays we use uh, grips number three or four, not more. So personally I use, nowadays I use grip three with one very thin over grip. Uh, in the recent years, I've used uh, uh, grip number two with two over grips. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm constantly kind of figuring out what what's what's best for me. But you can see that this crazy setup with crazy swing weight and uh, longer longer uh, grip is yeah, it's just it's just different. So when you click on the picture though you get the original specs which do, don't match the the original the the the, the, the real setup of Gamon Fields when uh, I'm talking about right now so just very interesting you can obviously get the record everything is sold out but there is a review for this record uh, from one person from a male from France who was lucky enough who bought the record uh, on the 2nd of uh, June 2023 and I believe uh, maybe they just had one one record to sold to sell from Gamon Field. So guys, this is interesting. This is uh, this really took my attention 
And I was like, wow, wow. Uh, for such a low price, it's, it's just insane. You actually can get a pro stock racket, a customized racket that a pro has, has used. Uh, probably there, there should be a completely different number, I believe, with one nil. So it would be more let's say logical if you if you if you if they charge uh, like 8490 crowns which would be 8490 crowns uh dollars 25 it would be like 340 american dollars that would kind of make sense but for such a low price it's it's yeah it's a shame i didn't get hands on this record so i wasn't quick enough let's say i just noticed it a couple days or weeks ago so guys what do you think about this is it or let, 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 let's just let's just leave it like this what do you think overall about the setup the the, the weight the swing weight uh, the fact that the record is longer so it kind of it kind of uh, mimics a record for example for for serena williams which uh, she used also a longer longer record and by the way i have the record here i have the record here i i, I didn't show you the record but i have the autograph record the serena williams uh blade autograph yeah i will show you this record in some of the future videos and the record looks crazy crazy insane probably the most powerful racket for the public you can buy and uh with a high swing weight of course and maybe even higher than the rf97 pro staff and yeah i can't wait to test the racket out but let me know in the comments what do you think about per this particular original pro stock racket of the setup so yeah it's super interesting sometimes when you when you browse the internet what you can find so guys thank you very much for watching and as always if you want to support my channel you can have you can have of course you can have you can have fun with supporting my channel and you can help me to maintain the channel to continue the channel to make it even more better and you can do three things you can click the super thanks button it's probably the easiest thing but but there is the but when you click the super thanks you donate me some of your love then the problem is that actually youtube gets about i believe 30 or 40 percent of your donation so i get only like 60 percent of the donation so which is which is kind of well i would say which kind of sucks and uh the next thing is that you can uh help me out by buying me a coffee this is probably the second easiest thing you can do and almost entire donation will go to me and the third thing and the probably probably maybe the most clean thing you can donate me through paypal and i will also receive let's say the full donation from you and as always you can ask me a question when you donate me something because there is the option that you can do, you can ask me a question or, or you can send me the message and through sending me a message you can ask me a question and i will reply to the question as best as i can because if you donate me something i will give you that back so yeah it's that easy uh, and i will present also the question to the public in the future when if if the question will be let's say interesting enough so guys thank you so much for watching and as always enjoy tennis play tennis every time every day and don't forget to enjoy the menu availability bye guys you can't be serious man you cannot be serious that ball was on the line